Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new WWE Supercard video. This is episode number 117. In the last episode, we did a little bit of RTG actually, um, which was fun. And then I kind of went off the grid for a little bit, as you guys can tell. My last video was two days ago. It was a bit chaotic. Did well, chaotic. It was. It was a very fun weekend. Very fun Friday, Sunday. It was Saturday. It was all. It was all very fun. Good. Had a good time. You know, it doesn't really matter um, what I was doing. It was just. It was just a good weekend. But yeah, that means I had to put Supercard on uh, on hold for a little bit, which means I was. I'm a little bit delayed in RTG, so I needed to grind a lot today, and that's what I've been doing. I've been playing a lot of Supercard today, and I am finally catching up a little bit on this RTG so we can get this Brock Lesnar. And I'm currently on Randy Orton. I'm on the ultimate 100 points, exactly halfway on this Randy. I started today on 5 points on Shinsuke Nakamura, and uh, and we're halfway through Randy Orton. Before I go to bed tonight, um, I'm going to finish this Randy Orton, hopefully maybe get like 40 points. Um, 40 points in this Dean Ambrose, that way I'll have to play uh, 49 games tomorrow of RTG. Sounds fun. Um, <laughs> I bet you, I bet you go all envy me. Yay, forty something games of RTG. I hate RTG so much. If I haven't mentioned that before, but today, um, not much, not too much. We're just gonna play a bit of RTG. King of the Ring. I didn't even qualify, so I was like, I'm not even gonna show this to you guys. As I said, I had to kind of um, put soup card on hold for a little bit, and I, I, I kind of forgot about my King of the Ring, so. So yeah, we, we got an elite and a hardened, uh, if I remember rightly, it was Samoa Joe or Hideo Itami, one or the other, the elite. And the hardened was so shit, I don't even remember who it was. Um, this is our deck currently, I'm not actually going to start another King of the Ring until I've got my Brock Lesnar pro and in, in the King of the Ring. But we're not doing bad, we're not doing bad. This Brock Lesnar is not really leveled up properly so I sh probably should have chucked him in RTG but uh yeah we'll just we'll just we'll just, we'll just wing it afterwards but anyway let's get let's get a couple games played I've just streamed on Twitch for a little bit and now I'm going to address um something that's really important that I'm be I need to talk about and it, it it really is something sad and it makes me really sad I kind of I feel shit about it it makes me really like just I I really, I feel sad about it and it and it is it really has upset me but it's the whole streaming on YouTube. So I'm currently un, un uh, I'm currently not of not allowed. I'm not. I can't stream on YouTube. Basically, for how long I don't know. I think maximum is uh, 90 days, which is three months, which is a pain in the ass. Hopefully, it resolves itself uh, in less time than that. But basically, during the WrestleMania, I wanted to stream the whole thing on YouTube. My reactions and the whole thing to it. And at one point, I. Because apparently I was allowed to show the kickoff on on the YouTube, so I little got a screen capture and played the kickoff, which was Austin Aries versus Neville, which was the first match on YouTube. Started the stream, was all hyped, thought we were gonna do seven hours on YouTube. It was gonna be fun, and then I got kicked from streaming um, on YouTube, and then since then every time I go on live streaming, it just plays back that same stream and doesn't let me start a new stream. And I've looked into it a little bit and. Yeah, basically, it's disabled. My live streaming ability is disabled right now on my YouTube channel, so no soup, no streams in general on the YouTube channel. So for now, I'll be doing all my streams over on Twitch. My link to Twitch will be at the top of the description um, for this video, guys, right at the top of the description with my Twitch channel. Go check that out, guys. Drop a follow if you haven't yet. Uh, that way you get notified when I go live on uh, on Twitch. I'm going to tr try and stream at least once every two days. That's minimum, um, but when there's nothing to do on Supercard, no events, nothing, I'm not going to be streaming on those days unless I have something really, you know, just close to a ladder reward or King of the Ring finals or semi, you know, something interesting. But most of the time, if there's no events, no team events, I won't be streaming. Apart from that, um, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Can't stream on YouTube for a little bit, but yeah, I'll be streaming on Twitch. I will also maybe do a short little video on... Um, uh, uh, yeah, I'll do a little short video on the YouTube channel every time I go live to let you guys know that I'm also streaming on Twitch. So I'll try and figure something like a a quick like four or five second video, just being like I'm live streaming on Twitch or that. The, the, the video will be deleted after my 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 stream is over, and then we'll just uh, up, I'll re-upload that every time I go live to let you guys know. But apart from that, let's get into uh, my WrestleMania kind of review 
and my whole kind of week of wrestling, um, the whole week of wrestling that we had in Orlando over the last couple, it's Sunday today, just turned Sunday, so I'm a bit late doing this, but better than, better than, better than nothing. Um, so WrestleMania on the whole, as I've mentioned in a couple of videos before, I found it was amazing, really enjoyed it. Now, yeah, there are a lot of matches where I'm like, uh, maybe th that person shouldn't have won or that, but overall, just the, it was, I really enjoyed Mania. The Hardys returned, what a moment that was. Felt amazing seeing the Hardys back in WWE. Um, so let's quickly go over a couple of the matches. So yeah, Shane, AJ, probably my second or, yeah, probably my second favourite match of the night. Fantastic. The right person won. Great. We've already spoke a little bit about that match before. Uh, Chris Jericho, Kevin Owens. Um, yeah, right person won, I think. Although the other, although Jericho could have won it and I would have been happy with it as well. The ending. Okay, sure. I thought there was going to be a little bit more to it in the match. A bit more. A bit more to it. Um, but it was, it was really decent. Um... The, the, um, the the women match, the raw women match, good. Bailey won. Okay, definitely awesome, awesome, awesome. Bray versus Randy was a disappointment as for me. The match itself was okay. The winner was completely wrong in my opinion. It's like no one's really behind Randy Orton. He's not. A, he's he's a baby face right now, and it just doesn't suit him as well as being a heel. And no one since he's returned, no one's really gone behind Randy like like in the old days. So Randy, that's the wrong winner in my opinion and probably in a lot of your guys' opinion. And the match kind of just felt a bit short as well. Uh, Brock Lesnar Goldberg, I thought was a really fun match. I enjoyed it, really enjoyed it actually. There were great spots, the, the leapfrog um, that Brock Lesnar did to avoid the spear, that was really cool. And just overall, it, it was good. You know, it wasn't a 20 minute match. No one expected it to be a 20 minute match, but I enjoyed it. Triple H versus Seth Rollins. That was my the match I enjoyed the most um, at WrestleMania. It was fantastic. Really enjoyed the match. The right person won at the end again. And it was all good. And then the penultimate match. The SmackDown Women's Live Women match. It was, it, was, it was weird to have that match going on second to last. It was like, yeah, guys, you've been watching wrestling for six hours. Go take a piss. We'll put on this match. That's why I kind of thought it was a bit. It was a, bit, it was a shame that that match had to go on second to last. But, yeah, um, Naomi won in a hometown. It was good. It was the right decision as well, in my opinion. And I predicted Naomi. I didn't... I, I really started off really bad with my predictions. And then it started, it started to go back on track. But that was good. Um, and now, main event time. Oh, of course. The, I, meant, no, I mentioned the Hardys. What else? What else did I... Have I forgotten? Have I forgotten anything? Is that's the question. Um, if I have forgotten anything... Can't be that important. So Roman Reigns versus The Undertaker. Has The Undertaker retired? I think so. Um, I'm really angry. Obviously Roman retired The Undertaker. But I have to live with it. I have to live with it. And he is now 23 and 2. Or 24 and 2. 23. Don't quote me on that. Anyway. But uh, yeah. Undertaker won. Sorry. I'm <laughs> Roman Reigns won. I wish Undertaker would have won. No, Roman Reigns, uh, Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns won, didn't turn heel, really kind of disappointing end to Mania, but on the whole, I'm really not going to complain, because it was a really good show, and I thought it was just a, a really enjoyable night of wrestling, and the atmosphere was there, and it was fun to watch, so yeah, on overall, the best WrestleMania I've watched since I've been watching WWE, so, good, good job WWE. And now the Raw after Mania, we're just going to really talk about the key points, so all the returns or debuts. So Emma, yes. The Revival, fuck yes. Um, and Finn Balor, yes. I will, yes, honestly. All three return, well, debut returns, really good. It was a great episode of, uh, of Raw. And obviously my favourite part of Raw. Who is the new GM? It's Kurt Angle. It's true. It's damn true. Uh, great segments with Enzo and Cass. That's not how you spell soft. I laughed at that. I really did. It was fantastic. I love Kurt Angle. All you, all you guys know I love Kurt Angle. So that was really, really awesome for me to watch. And I really enjoyed it. So yeah, that was Raw. And Smackdown. We'll just go to debuts, returns, and big things I have to talk about. Um, Ty Dillinger. Great. Really happy. Nakamura. Yes. Very confused about the whole thing, though. Because apparently Dolph Ziggler came out. And then did they have a match or not? 
it wasn't on TV. We didn't see that. People people who were there saw it. There are videos of it. The Dolph Ziggler did come out or um, and was in the ring with Nakamura. I'm not too sure if they had a match or not, but we didn't see that. People who were just watching it on TV. So that was weird because what we saw was The Miz and then all of a sudden some guy with the guitar came out and then Nakamura came out. He, go, he goes in the ring and then that's it. And that's all we see on Nakamura. But the fact that Nakamura's returned, oh, sorry, made his debut on the main roster... So awesome, really excited to see what they do, and obviously the um, the roster shake-up next week on Raw and on SmackDown, or start on Raw, end on SmackDown, really looking forward to that as well. So yeah, honestly, a great, a great, like, week of wrestling. Um, thank God it, this, there's no wrestling for the next couple of days, just to kind of, you know, it was, it was a lot of wrestling. Seven hours, well, no, we had the Hall of Fame, which I know wasn't wrestling, but I'm going to include it because it was still about wrestling and still a lot of people watched. I watched the, the Hall of Fame, which lasted a long time. Then TakeOver, that was really good. Again, another couple of hours of wrestling there. Then we had WrestleMania, seven hours. Then we had Raw, three hours. Then we had SmackDown, two hours. Then we had 205 Live. It was well, it was a lot of wrestling, um, but overall it's, it was really, really fun. And I love the WrestleMania kind of weekend, it's now over, and we have to look forward to other things, maybe SummerSlam, hopefully it's going to have some good matches on that, and a nice build up to SummerSlam as well. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here guys, again, not, didn't, didn't get too much done in this episode, but I wanted, I've been meaning to talk about WrestleMania, SmackDown, Raw, for a long time, so there we go, finally, finally spoke about that, tell me what you guys thought, the main points, you know, if there's anything you guys want to mention, or something you think they should have done differently, or something you think they did really well and you want to praise them for it, tell me down below in the comments all your opinions and thoughts on this weekend of wrestling last week. And yeah, thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Drop a like on this video. I'm, I really am obviously disappointed with the whole streaming thing. But hey, we all, we all have to go through obstacles in life. This is just one that I'll have to go through as well. My own downfall, I suppose, anyways, for showing the kickoff on my live stream and I have to learn and I have. So yeah, thank you guys for watching the video and I'll see you tomorrow. So then take care and peace out.